Man, today is a sad day. So literally less than five hours ago, the absolutely legendary duo Daft Punk have decided that they're gonna split up and go their own ways. And this shit sucked, man. I woke up, I saw that YouTube video and I was like, oh shit, new album, let's go. And then I realized what it was and I was just hurt. I'm pretty sure everyone watching this knows who they are. Absolutely innovators when it comes to electronic music, soul, funk, disco, I could keep going. And one of the reasons why I personally gravitated towards them so heavy was their use of samples. So I have this sample pulled up in Ableton called More Spell On You by Eddie John. I'm gonna just play the sample through once and then I'm gonna show you how they flipped it. So this is the sample right here. And some of you might have been able to guess what that's from. So what they did was pitch the sample down one semitone, chopped it up in just three different places and came up with this. crazy and this just shows you that there's brilliance and simplicity they literally only chopped a sample in three different parts and made one of the best electronic songs of all time so what i decided for today is to make something inspired by them just to honor their legacy and all that they've done this should be a good time i'm excited let's get to it okay so for this beat i want to start off with some sort of sample preferably funk soul something like that so let's go digging <laughs> All right, so we got this classic, classic Quincy Jones record pulled up. I'm just gonna go ahead and try and mess with some chops and see if I can find anything that I like. Okay, so hold up. Maybe we could try doing something like this. Shit, that's fire. Okay, well, let's try and see if we can find another part to work with that. Ooh, hold up. All right, so we could do like... That's crazy. Okay, hold on. I like that a lot. Let me just play the song and then see if we could tap out a tempo here. All right, so now that we got the chops, I might just go back and chop it in here, actually, to just make it easier for me. Let's see. Yeah, like that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I just went ahead and finished chopping up the sample, and this is how it sounds so far. Go ahead and do like a classic uh, Daft Punk filter for the intro real quick. Nice, so let's go ahead and just get a clap going. All these sounds are coming off the OP1. Go ahead and start layering up these, these claps. I'm also gonna be doing some side chaining on this melody. Let's get a compressor going, side chain the clap. Ooh, that could be a nice little layer right there. This whole beat is like not even on beat. It's kind of weird, uh, but let's keep going. I'll go ahead and add some shakers now to give it some groove.
Uh, now let's put in a, a kick. Alright, so I'm just gonna start layering more percussion over this little break we got. Put some reverb on that. Hard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep layering percussion on this with the OP1 and see where we go with this. Let's try and get a baseline going on this now. Add more percussion. Hold on. You gotta bring out the vibra slap, bro. Come on. Yup. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. So I think for the verse, we can just go ahead and loop this part. Kind of go like this. Put a filter on it. Auto filter. That was fun. I always enjoy making these type of beats. Once again, all in the memory of Daft Punk and their legendary career. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. I'd also like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Yo, man, once again, thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. If you guys haven't heard about them yet, it's a very intuitive online learning community. They literally have all types of courses, so it doesn't matter what you're into, you'll definitely find something that you like on this. But of course, I do make music, and I'm going back to what I was learning last month, which was just jazz piano. Oh, yeah, and it's only $10 a month, which is actually actually mind-blowing and the first a thousand people that head to the link in the description will receive a free trial of a premium skillshare membership so today's lesson was a bit more theory based than usual and i know it's not as fun as just actually playing when you practice but it is also very important to learn your theory as well and skillshare system just keeps all the lessons so organized and it kind of felt like i was back in school but like the good parts of being in school and yeah man if you like to learn by yourself learn at home i would definitely definitely recommend skillshare and once again thank you guys for sponsoring the video and yeah i think that's everything i'm out peace